I don't know the lyrics. It's been a long damn time since y'all saw me. Y'all saw me. Y'all saw me. What's up, everyone? I'm not even finna try to be professional. I'm just gonna be me. But anyways, those that's new, you see your boy TK TKRDS here. I don't think I said that in a while. But A is TK here, TK Redori score. That's what the RDS stands for, by the way. I just made it shorter a while ago. But uh, how is in the season? It's been a while. And uh, I might look a little different. You know, I'm kind of rocking the mustache, you know. Kind of like the mustache look now. I had to put the head back, the headband back on. Because I haven't rocked the headband in a long time. So I put the headband on. And also, my hair, I dyed it. I know y'all know this is like a brown color. I think my camera had got some type of filter thingy on it. But y'all didn't really come here and just, well, y'all ain't coming for that in general. Y'all saw my titles like, let's see what anime this guy is finna recommend. Yeah, that's what that's what we, we finna do. But, um, oh, let me just do my flashlight. Let me, get, let me bring a little bit more color. See? See, I dyed my hair. It's like a brown color. I actually want to dye it again. You see how my avatar character has been at the bottom? I was like, I want to dye my hair that color for the longest. Eventually, we're going to get there. I'm a spear man. We're going to rock the the brown for now. But uh, eventually, we're going to get that ultra instinct down there. And we got some Dragon Ball coming up for this highest in the season. Now, it's been a while. I've only been watching, uh, only been watching My Hero Academia this past few weeks. You know, the previous season, I was watching Demon Slayer along with My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia is still going on, so it's been sticking to My Hero Academia. And then um, I watched that Suicide Squad anime as, as well. And uh, that's all I've pretty much been watching. I watched the Suicide Squad and I watched My Hero Academia for this past almost 12 weeks or so. But, um... I wasn't doing much. I was like, it's about that time. Let me do a highs in the season. I'm all comfy. Like I said, I'm not being professional. So if you want someone professional, go someone else. I keep it real. But anyways, let me stop rambling on because this might be a 30 to hour long. I could talk a lot on anime. So switch. And um, yeah, let's take a look at it. I actually did take a look at this list maybe a week or two ago because I was chatting with some of my friends. And I was... Trying to see um, the date of the anime, or the month, I should say. Now it's actually trying to make sure I get on the correct name of the Dragon Ball anime. Alright, so... um, I am excited for this. This fall, 2024 anime season that's coming. It's going to start at the end of September. But most of them are going to be airing in um October. So, we got some fan favorites for, not for me, but for y'all. Fan favorites, ReZero, that's going to be a hot one for y'all out there that love it. I know Blue Lock is a popular one. I never got into it. I did watch the episode, but I just didn't try to deep dive into it. Uzumaki, I'm, I'm kind of interested in it. I actually just watched the trailer for it. It's a limited series. It's only like four episodes just showing right there. But I'm going to check it out. I saw the manga book around a long time ago while I was doing my manga buying, my manga buying phase. I slowed down my manga buying because I got like probably 13 mangas I didn't read yet and I got to get into it. And it's not it's not like 13 different series. I have, I have seven manga books for this one series. I read like one of them <clears throat> and I was waiting for the other ones. And I just piled up the, the mangas. And I got this other one that I got like probably like maybe three or four that I haven't read yet. But I read like two of the books. It was a pretty thick book though. Um, but I'm gonna try to start my manga reading uh sometime soon actually. I'm gonna knock knock out those volumes I got for the two mangas I was reading. But yeah. I'm looking forward to Uzumaki. I know Blue Lock I know Blue Lock and Re Zero is a popular one, so it's gonna be fire. Well, it's gonna be hot for y'all. Um, do I know this one? I feel like I kind of know this one. Siri, Siri, 
I feel like I know this one. I don't think I watched it though. Well, um, but this is a manga I was going to buy. This is this is when I'm in my manga buying phase. I saw this book a while ago. Dan Dan Dan. It's like a, a supernatural type thing. I ain't know it had comedy in it, but I'm going to check that one out. So this is one of the ones that I'm looking forward to. Let me add that to my list because I don't think I had on my plan to watch. But I was going to get the manga. I hold it off on it because I know I knew I was slowing down on my reading manga and stuff. So I was like, let me not buy no more stuff. So I am looking forward to that one. Hopefully this is a point. The manga been going on for maybe since the beginning of this year, I think. Like the books memory being released. Um, I never got into this one by I saw the name before, but the third season of that, that one could be high on the season. But let me just let me let me stop doing the, no, never mind. Let me keep going. I'm gonna get my personal highs and seasons, but I'm also telling y'all what's gonna be hot in general. Blue Lock for sure. This one's gonna be hot for sure. Um Bleach is gonna be hot for sure. I never got into Bleach. I was one of those people that I wake up at the middle of the night or maybe switch new channels and I see Bleach on right when it's finna go off. So I never got into Bleach. I never personally tried to sit down and binge watch it at all. So, yeah, but that's going to be a hot one for the season for sure. This is a personal high season season. Don Machi is back. We're on the fifth season. I don't think I had to add that. It should be on my plan a lot, but it's not. Okay. So we got two. Two animes for me that I'm looking forward to. Dan, 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 and... Don Machi. Uh, we got a second season of this. I think I've seen this before, but I didn't actually watch it. Um, I can't say if it's hot or not. I haven't heard too much stuff about it. This is going to be hot for sure. Is this a remake? I feel like this is a remake right here, though. But um, Blue Exorcist, what's the, what season are you on? You said it's a sequel. So I got lost in Blue Exorcist. I liked Blue Exorcist when I first saw it. I think it was like two seasons out at the time when I watched it. And then it, it was like... This is this is an issue with like anime. Some anime, they'll have a, like a f good first two seasons or so, and they take years and years to come back. And when that happens, I fall off and I can't get back into the groove of it. Perfect example, Date Alive. That one, that was like in my middle school years. Yes, middle school. I was watching it. I'm pretty sure either middle school or high school I was watching Date Alive. That thing was so good to me. I tried to come back to it after years because they took so long to drop a new season. Couldn't get into it. Um, another one that hunt that high school DXD. I was watching that in my middle school slash high school years. I enjoyed it a lot. But it took a lot of years to make a new season. I can't get back into it. I feel like I know this one, or maybe the title looks so similar. I can't even pronounce it. But. This is like this is a romance, right? Yeah, romance and sports. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna keep my eye out open for this though, cause I haven't been watching a romance in a while. I think I need to soften up a little bit. Hey, hold on, did someone? Okay, no, no, that's not there. I was checking. I was messaging someone. I was making sure that a certain person I didn't make them wait. I don't like making people wait with messages. Um, all right, this one I've been waiting for. So this is a. Uh, Spinoff, Sora Online, Alternative. This is the Gun Girl Online Season 2. So this features this character right here. She's the main character. Um, and she has this home squad. And it was pretty good. Um, I watched, I feel like when I watched this, but I actually enjoyed watching it. And this, see, I already had it more as plan to watch. But I'm looking forward to it. You ain't going to really see Kito or Asuna on it like that or at all. But, um... If you want to see a whole new cast of characters and stuff like that, check it out. You actually do see Kito and Oscar. And Oscar. Wait, Ozuna? My bad. I say Oscar. I don't know why I say Oscar for. Um, you do see them at some point on season one. Um, it was like kind of in the middle of the the Sora Online two, right? When Shion got introduced, did you see a little bit of that with the Duff Gun guy on season one? You see a little bit of that in season. This season one of this, but season two is coming. I'm excited for it. Can't wait to see what the squad is up to right there. Um, this is one I'm looking forward to very, very much. I got email for this months ago. In a yeah, Dragon Ball Diama, and this is Goku as a kid. And for those who don't know, Dragon Ball 
just Dragon Ball when Goku was a kid. That is my favorite Dragon Ball of all the Dragon Balls. So since we got this new anime coming, we got Goku as a kid again, doing his adventures and journeys, things like that. Definitely hottest in the season for me. And I'm looking forward to that. So can't wait to get into that. It says October 11. Um, oh, yeah. And I should say, I was going to say, but I forgot to say, but you, we, we all know the creator of Dragon Ball and lots of other uh, popular anime. Like, what's the one with the girl? They, had, they actually had her in Super one time. That's a gag character. Um, but, yeah. We know the creator. He, he passed away earlier in the year. I, I actually... Mentioned that on my other hottest in the season when I was talking about um, Sandland. Sandland was actually good too. So yeah, man. Um, hopefully they keep his uh, ideas and vision somewhat intact and uh, continue to have success with the Dragon Ball. Um, this one right here, I do not know what this is, but season two for that. Yeah, see the two for this. I don't know what that is as well. Um, we got some slice of life supernatural right here. The seventh season. Oh, okay, I thought that was brand new. I'm not gonna get into that. We got romance. I'm trying to announce it, but let's see. Co workers in the travel agency in Tokyo, they both are single, but now, well, they both single. They don't mind since they're introverts and fulfilling their lives at home. All right. Well, I guess they found it. Uh, I don't even want to read all this because they, they, they telling too much of the goddamn plot right here. I hate when they tell too much of the plot. Just make it simple. Simplify it. Two, two introverts may be suddenly realizing they want someone. They want some lover. They want love. Pretty much something like that. I'm an introvert. I could relate. I want some love. I don't want to be alone all the goddamn time. So I have been trying to find tough ass road. Anyways, um, I might check this out though. Let's see how well it relates to me. How how much can I relate to this to this anime? So I'm gonna put it on my plan to watch and see how it goes. But hey, they traveling and stuff. They say they introverts, but they traveling and stuff. Um, we got a comedy here. Kimi wa meda sama. Okay. Um, we got a high school student that lives alone. One day, an unfamiliar girl knocks at his door. And offered to be his maid. She revealed that he she is, is a former assassin. We make him nervous. Okay, um, I'll I'm gonna add to my list. If they say it's a comedy, just say comedy. I like comedy. I need some laughs. I be sad a lot sometimes. It's the sad music all the time. I got me a sad playlist. Y'all want my sad playlist? Let me know. Just type in hashtag TKRDS feels. I think, or just type in hashtag TKRDS. Something like that on Spotify. You really want my sad playlist? Let me know. I'll I'll send a link. Uh, this looks very familiar. This character looks very familiar. But uh, I'm not. I'm gonna pass on this. It says comedy, fancy, and romance. And looks a little too cutesy. Girl audience, uh, catering to. Me. So I'm passing that. All right. So we got Rama. Arama re. Make, you should say yeah. So this is a classic anime. Um, someone I know, Metro, that's like his favorite anime. And uh, so yeah, this this is actually the same the same creator of this made the the one with Lum in uh, what's his name? What's the boy name? I can't think of his name there, but Lum, the girl with the electricity powers, the alien girl with the what's her, what's her? I forgot what's. I can't even, I don't know the English name to it, but I don't know why I don't, have, I don't want to watch this, but end up enjoying that a lot, you know. I did see the original Rama, but I never actually watched it all the way towards the end. So nice to see that they bring this back. I think they did a good job with the Yatsura. It's, it's called Yatsura something like that. I can't pronounce the name right now, but I can show y'all if you really want it. Uh, see what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. Wait, can y'all see? Can y'all see my URL? Don't see my URL. If y'all see my URL, do not, do not snipe my my website. Don't snipe my website that I used to watch my anime. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't got my OBS up, so I don't know. 
Oh my, maybe I can't see the link. But this anime right here, Yatsu, I can't pronounce it. Her. And I can't. I forgot his. I forgot the main character name. Yeah, yeah, Lum and. I, I can't pronounce his name for... I, I can't think of his name for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, that that's the same people that did that. So they're doing the... They, they're remaking the, the Rama too. So hopefully that goes well. I'm, I'm expecting it to go well. So we got another Isaikai. I'm very picky and I'm very... Trying to avoid Isaikais. But let's see what this one's about. We got a sarcastic loner. That's transport with his class. Uh, I might have to pass. Because there's another anime that was Isaikai when his classmates got transported to uh, as well. And I actually like the anime. And I don't like to watch too much similar stuff. Boy, they saying he they saying he wanted magical balls, but he seemed like he had no good luck with it. Uh, uh, I'm not going to add to my list But if I see it I'm going to check it out I'm going to give it a check But I ain't really trying to watch too much similar anime we Got Roni Kenshin They done remade that Or rebooted it But new season of that is coming For those who might Instead, Agami son, I don't know what this is. But we got another comedy romance. Hero Star of Life with plans to forget it all by achieving his dream of man. Wait, wait, wait it's. <clears throat> Was that word? My. My. My accumulation? I don't know what the hell that word is. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, my strength's so small. But, anyways, I don't think I'm gonna watch that. Um, I think I want to check this one out. I seen I eyed this one out when I checked a few weeks ago. Action, fantasy, sci-fi, the cyberpunk metropolis. It's a magic, it's a city, blah blah blah. Um, they got the latest cutting edge technology. They said this legendary demon lord that I guess he's he just came back alive. Oh wait, I don't know. I ain't gonna read all this. Like I said, they be supporting too much stuff, but I'm planning to check that one out as well. Boop, put that there. So I, I can notify it because I don't wanna forget. Um this is the this is a spin-off of the main show. The Deadly Sins, right? The Seven Deadly Sins. I fell off the Seven Deadly Sins so fast. I watched the first season and I was done with it. To be honest, I hate the main character. He was annoying to me, so I after I finished the first season, I ain't even plan to go back to it. But this is a spin-off of the Seven Deadly Sins. And it's the second season of that one. So those who's into it, there we go. You got one for, for y'all. This one I don't think I would be interested in just by what I'm seeing. And the genres mixed together. So we go over there. I actually watched a little bit of this. And I played the visual novel of this. They made a second season of it. I'm not even sure if I finished the first season of this anime, but I know I played the visual novel. This is about racing. It was like they're doing street races and stuff. Um, I'm not even going to try to cover that. This one right here says comedy romance. Tasuma Shogi Ketsu Ni Naru. Um, let's see the main character. Lost his beloved wife 10 years ago. Since then, he doesn't feel alive. And he's been feeling, I mean, he's been gloomy. The only family he has left is his daughter. Okay. He wants her to be happy. But he has nothing for his daughter. Then provide him living. It's okay. Probably going to check this out. Because it's sad. But also, it, it seems like maybe this guy finna found some love. I ain't read all of it. Like I said, they be telling too much in the thing. I already done found out that he, he lost the wife and his daughter. I don't know what else is going to happen. But it says comedy and romance. So maybe you feel me? He has a nice ladies. Maybe you got him a potential wifey to complete the family. Um. So we got the toilet, ghost, um, Hanako. 
um, I don't think that that's not the exact name, but he's like a Tory spirit ghost. He's like a spirit that lives in the bathroom, the girl's bathroom, pretty much. I watched the first season of it, um, maybe last year, maybe it was last year when that first season came out. It was an okay anime to me, but overall, I just didn't. I just knew I wasn't going to progress further on to the next season. I went ahead and completed that first season. And I was like, okay. It's an okay anime, but it's really not for me, so I'm not even going to watch the new season. I think it only says four episodes. Did it just say four episodes? It actually, it does say four episodes, so I actually might watch it if it's only four episodes, if I'm bored, you know? Um, we got another romance and fantasy. A rough life, trying to survive, and eventually being sold into slavery by her own brother. Wow. This is dark. She got sold into slavery by her own brother. This is a fantasy and romance, though. Um, okay. Her catcher, Prince, someone, someone. Actually, to be honest, this 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 art style looks like it's is catering to girls. Um, but I may give it a try. Who knows? Well, we got the action, adventure, fantasy, Sayonara, Ryu, Say, Konnichiwa, Jinsei. Um, a long time ago, I mean, long ago, a human managed to defeat the oldest and most powerful dragon of them all. He tried to be Natsu or something. The dragon was so strong that even the gods feared it, but accepted it in all alone. Um, suddenly, the dragon woke up. New life as a guy. Okay, so this is a person. I didn't mean to click on it. Oh, they're trying to look at. They're trying to sell me some Naruto stuff. Don't want to buy me that. I don't got no DVD player. I can't even use that. Um, but so this is Dragon being reincarnated to a human, and I guess even to make some friends, do adventures, fight, pow, 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 all that good stuff. I might check it out. I might check it out. But I'm not into my list, but I might check it out. We got an action anime. Look like it's in Fuel Japan from the picture we've seen here. Mm, let's see. Soaked in blood as political. You have some political type stuff. They're talking about some government. Talking about some Ronin. Talking about the government samurai. Set the stage for something to happen. So it's just like action. So y'all who action is, I just like seeing killing. There y'all go. This is a perfect anime for y'all. Blood, guts, everything. No storyline needed for y'all. Let me stop. They're going to tell some story. Y'all know. Japanese like telling a story. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. But I just say action. So maybe it's my maybe, maybe it might just be <laughs> you might not be that much action. I mean storytelling on this one. Okay. Um retry R Mao. Lord Mao, or how you want to pronounce it. Um the Demon Lord continues his adventure. Okay, so this is a continuation of something. They tell him he continues his adventure. I don't know the the original origin of the story. Um, okay, but those who know about this anime, y'all might be interested here. We got Love Live Superstar Season 3. I never watched Love Live at all. Um, but for those who like it, there you go. Chi Chi Yu no Udon ni Tisuti. No, ni Suti. Did I say right? Suti? Uh, okay, in the 15th century, Poland. A time where, okay, talking about some ideals led to possess those with such a mindset to be turned, I mean, my bad, to be burnt at stake. Oh, so this is like, what's that thing called? Kind of like the witch trial thing, but they just, like, yo, your ass smart as hell, uh, we just gonna kill your ass. That's what this seems like. They're talking about the main character who's a prodigy child is suspected to be major universe well actually just say drama maybe I'm got it wrong when I said they killed they killing people no you know I say people with such a mind state burn at the stake at the stake for their release so in the world this with this this child then he misses a mysterious man he becomes becomes the researching the potential truth well this dude gonna hide him from the people so you don't get burned or what? Maybe I'll check it out if I'm bored or scrolling. Got comedy, another comedy romance. 
This is like it's a boy love, because I don't see no girl characters. Is that is that girl? This is like it's a boy love. Shout out to my online Indonesian friend. I don't, I haven't seen her around, though. But this is anime for her right here. This is like, that's a boy love. How I attended all guys mixed her. That's the name of the title. I didn't mean to click. Well, I mean the bra. I mean the bra, but not the top. Not to do that. Then we got Mech. Just due to the name of it having Mecha in it, I don't even want to try to watch it. Mecha Ood. Action sci-fi. Long time ago, life forms came at Earth, fusing with people on the planet. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to watch it still. Sorry. I don't like so this mech, mech stuff. Only mech thing I like was like Eureka 7. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's an action fantasy adventure. Slaying beasts emerge from the abyss. Okay. Some type of action that may seem like you want to be killing some beasts that's just coming up from the abyss like I just read right there. And it's got some slower and they're trying to survive. It seemed like one of those animes where they probably got this area protected that they live in. They got people going out into the field trying to keep the threat down, things like that. Um, the golden age has dawned for treasure hunters who raid, okay? It doesn't say too much about it, but it says action, adventure, fantasy. I'll give it a try. It's like it's all girl cast from this picture that I can see here. You got this action, fantasy, magic girl, a professional, a profession that undertakes the work of exterminating a kind of natural disaster called Call. Kana, okay, the name. Okay, that's the character name. Kana, so I can, okay, Shigaragi, my bad. She struggles with job hunting. Is picked up by a magical girl startup company. I guess she ends up becoming a magical girl. Blah blah blah. I watched a magical girl anime, maybe two anime seasons ago. It was actually decent. Um, got drama and suspense here. Not a lot of people know that one of the most talented and ruthless Mojang players in the city is. Y'all think I'm gonna watch Mojang with suspense and drama? I'm sorry, it's not for me personally. Okay, then we got this yokai, so we got something about some ghosts and spirits or whatever. So can you see the rookie teacher? He's cowardly as they come. He can't even handle students pretty much. Then I guess he's gonna one day encounter some type of spirits. Yeah, student put a prank on them. So he pulled, so a kid did some type of prank on him, and now some ghouls and ghosts is around him, and he's trying to keep them intact pretty much. Comedy and fantasy. Maybe I'll check it out. I can't guarantee I will actually watch it to this whole end. I'm, I'm just going to watch some of it just to check it out. Arco Trip, Comedy Fantasy. We got a taco girl that lives in the city. She's obsessed with Berry Blossom, a magical girl with Texas City. Um, Wait, why did tell me the description of all these characters in this series you like? Or this, the, the, the magic girl is this actual person that's in the world, I guess. Yeah, they mentioned this character a lot. I'm, I'm not trying to watch my magical girl stuff. Sorry. I ain't watched one enough. This one just have the tag. Nagapazi Angler. Story follows Sunihiro, a depressed college student. He has lots, or he or she has lots of depth. You only got two years left to live. Well, okay. This person, okay. It's a depressed college student that's in depth, and they was told they got two years left to live. Falling into the sea. Oh, okay, then they tell me something else now. They, they, they get away with the story of what's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to add to my list to check it out. A depressed college student told they got two, lyri two, li two years left to live. Okay. In the end, yeah. All right. 
We got a fantasy takes place in another world where there are guides. Uh, we're gonna pass on that just because while I'm reading it right there, I don't I'm not interested with that. I feel like I've seen too much of it, but flows might be into it. We got a drama called Trillion Game. Um, let's see. Got about to get it going. As a bishop says, person is offered with a prestigious position at the largest IT company. Mm, I'll check it out, but can't guarantee you watch it fully through. Shin Tennis no Oji Sama U7 World Cup. Is this a second series, second season type continuation thing? Because that Blue Lock season two is called Blue Lock versus U7, something like that. So I'm like, but this is another sports anime, it's tennis. I'm pretty sure I saw some of this. Maybe I saw all of it, I'm not too sure. I would have to actually check for this one. But second season of Kamarabi. Let me see if I watched the first season. I'm logged in. I did watch the first season. I didn't. I don't know if I completed it. I know for sure I saw some of it. But did I complete it? Nope. I cut that thing. Or I never added it to my list because it's not there. On my actual list. But I know I saw it before. And you got this magical fantasy looking thing. I'm never going to try to read kind of interested in it. I'm not interested in no Idol Master anime. I'm sorry. But I did put the Idol Master game before. Uh, Adam... Hamidashi Creative. We got a romance anime made in the end of June. And the summer seems to be locked in place. Um, main character recognized by himself and those around him as an introvert. He spent another quiet day in his corner to crash no more so he thought until some girl comes up and talks to him. Okay, not mine. It says he's been selected as something. Okay. Uh, probably going to most Most definitely probably going to pass on it. You got this Chinese anime right here. Chi Chao Lao Long. Bei Gan. He Young. Chi Ming. Oh, my bad. Chi Ming. Season 2. So for those, we gotta go. So I'm pretty sure we don't got no other animes here that I'm actually interested in. So I'm not gonna read those anymore. I might be interested in this one. Because this is the person that made My Hero Academia. Look at the art style. Maybe just like a little short mini series. But yeah, we are again towards. Oh, yeah. B Stars final season. If y'all don't know about B Stars, then y'all need to go and watch B Stars. It's two seasons out right now. They're going to wrap it up. They're going to wrap it up December. Why are they showing it already in the. Isn't December part of the winter season? Okay. But they say December. I'm at to my list though. So B stars, I guess it's going to drop early because it says O and A. O and A are usually animes that's just dropped on the web, fully complete. They're not like anime that's being aired in Japan. Then we got some movies and stuff. Yeah, blah blah blah. All right. So how this anime in the season for me is only like three or four. Don Machi season five. Dan Dan Dan. This is not my personal, but Bleach is a hot one for sure. So that's that's two for me right there. Sora Online, Dragon Ball Diamond. And I oh and they say B Stars is coming. I'm not sure when B Stars is exactly Oh yeah, Rama. So that's that's my four. Rama, Dragon Ball Diamond, uh Sora Online, Danmachi. I think that's more than four. Dan Dan Dan, Danmachi. Sora Line, Dragon Ball Dama, Yorama. So yeah, so we got like five. Those are my highest in the season. Those are the ones I'm, those are the ones I'm most definitely watching. All the ones that I'm browsing through, talking a little bit, getting my pins on. I don't care about those. It's the big five. Dan Dan Dan, Dan Machi, uh, Sora Line, Dragon Ball Dama, and Hiranma. Now, if you want me to give the exact order of my anticipation, Dragon Ball Daima, Don Machi, Ranma, Dan Dan Dan, and Sora Online. Those, that's the order 
for my anticipation for these animes. But anyways, how long did I take to record this? Oh, at least 35 minutes. Shout out to those who actually going to listen to me ramble on for the 35 minutes. But uh, yeah, I'm TK, TKRDS. I'm streaming all the time, video games. So come by, say what's up. I got Instagram. Um, Don't be... Don't be, don't be a weirdo to me. But if you want to follow me on my Instagram, y'all. You want to follow me on my Instagram. This is the Instagram. Yo, yeah, y'all got y'all to do a request. I'm not even going to accept it unless I feel like you're a scam person. Can y'all see it? Probably can't see it. But it's X-P-T-K-Lucky. It's exactly how it sounds. X-P-T-K-Lucky. So, uh, yeah. Um, sometimes I poll, sometimes I don't. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know what else to say, but yeah. It's been a while. Figured I'd do this. I was bored. Not doing much. What do I think about the hair, though? Y'all y'all right with the hair? I'm right with the hair. Like, I actually got some more dye. Kind of need to dye this side a little bit more. Because some of it is it's black still. Some of my hair is black. You can see it right there. Some of the hair is black right there on this side. I know I got flips on the side. But, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Next time y'all will see me will be, I don't know, sure, I might, I'm, I might do a review of Fairy Tale. I haven't actually watched Fairy Tale yet. Fairy Tale is going on currently, and I was like, you know what, I ain't gonna watch Fairy Tale until almost all episodes out. I got ten episodes ready to watch, to be watched. I'm probably gonna wait next week, and then just binge watch all of them. Yeah, I might do a fairy tale review. So maybe you have an anime review coming up. Just, just for the heck of it, for me to do a review. But anyway, some TK, TK RDS. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And uh, stay safe. Keep the mental health. I botched it. Stay safe. Keep the mental health good because mental health is important. I know personally that junk is important. I'm dealing with it every day. I'm speaking some real stuff right now. Y'all ain't expect that, did y'all? But, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in for real. Y'all stay towards t- all the way here to this part of the the video I'm doing here. But, yeah, till next time, y'all. Like I said, you can chat with me in the comments or you try to hit me up on Instagram. And um, I'll type it in the description, too, if you just spell it properly if y'all can't find me. But, yeah, until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.